Welcome to my world. 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 doing a nighttime grocery haul from Walmart. I have my list and my purse. I'm gonna head on in. I have to go to the opposite side of the store for bird seed. I am almost out. And we're gonna grab our groceries. If you're new, smash on that subscribe word and check out our grocery haul playlist down below. Up a gingerbread kit. Kids like to do them every year. $11.94. Back to where the bird seed is. I usually get the biggest bag available and it lasts about a month for my birds that visit my theater on a regular basis. And it's over in the garden center. Bag of bird seed. The price is not listed on the shelf here, so I'll let you know with the receipt towards the end of the video. I grab this twin pack of Bic lighters, $1.74, and it's better buy than Dollar Tree, and you're getting two. New thermometer, $9.98. Just be careful with them because that needle point does break. Two bananas for 53 cents a pound. These chocolate chip bites, $3.94 for the lunchbox. Normally when we shop at Walmarts, we tend to stick to just food on shopping holes. But I had to get bird seed today and we're picking out shoes. So we're going to be doing a little bit of everything today. And you'll see everything on the table when we get home. Sneakers for $12.98. Very nice and stylish. One can of the beef gravy and one can of the chicken gravy. If you watched our grocery haul prep video, we went through everything in my house and wrote everything down that we needed before we came shopping. One can of the tomato sauce for $1.36. One can of the tomato paste for $1.22. Having the great value tomato sauce, $1.48. We have an entire video on crock pot great value spaghetti sauce, so check that out in the Cook With Me playlist. Jurassic World food snacks for $2.68. Truth by the Foot for $7.48. It is the 18 count, the family pack. Bag of the Heath miniatures for $4.34. Here's a tip. If you can, stay away from anything that says holiday or Christmas on it because you're going to save yourself money. Having the 16 count Rice Kits Free Treats for $4.72. It's an extra volume pack for the big families. Having the Italian style breadcrumbs by Great Value. Recently did a chicken video on it. It's cheaper than Dollar Tree at $1.12. Also getting a bag of the goldfish, the cheddar cheese for $2.40. Having a broccoli florets, the Great Value, steamables, 98 cents. Just as good as the bird's eye and the Green Giant without that price. I'm grabbing a box of the Uncrustables for $9.48. It's a 10 count, you get a little more. I'm grabbing a Marie's Calendar Banana Cream Pie for $5.98. That is a really great buy. Walmart pro tip, when you're checking out, make sure all the prices ring up from the shelf onto your receipt because they're known to charge more and not give you that price that's listed. Grabbing a box of the macarons for $6.24 by great value. From Walmart, and I'm going to show you all the items starting on the left. Those are my reading glasses. And we got the 18 count family size fruit by the foot. And we got the 10 count Jurassic World. Got an eight ounce can of the Italian breadcrumbs, cheaper than Dollar Tree. Very rare, but it happens. We got a jar of the tomato basil garlic. That is really good. As I mentioned, we have a video on great value crock pot spaghetti sauce and cook with me, so check that out. The paste, that is cheaper than buying too small. Big can of the sauce. And we got a chicken gravy and a beef gravy. My husband's not a fan of the homemade sneakers for my daughter. 16 count of the Rice Krispie Treats. The gingerbread kit when Zara's home. Those guys are going to do that together. 
pocket thermometer and the Bix. That was a great buy, two for dollar seventy-four. A bunch of bananas. This is half the price from our shop, right? The banana cream pie, under six dollars. Twenty count of the little Debbie's bites. Ten count of the Uncrustables. You're getting a couple more than the smaller size. The Heath candy bars. Do yourself a favor if you get candy for people for Christmas and go the non-holiday route and save yourself a lot of money. Goldfish, the cheddar, macaron, and broccoli florets. Now we're going to go over the receipt together and my meal planning board. Take a look at the receipt together and make sure all the prices on the shelves match what rung up at the register. Dollar forty-eight for the tomato basil. Jurassic ten count two sixty-eight. Banana cream pie five ninety-eight. Goldfish two forty. Broccoli forets ninety-eight cents. Breadcrumbs a dollar twelve. Beef gravy ninety-eight cents. The chicken gravy also ninety-eight cents. Tomato paste a dollar twenty-two for the large can. Cheaper than two small ones. Not sure why that is, but that's what it is. Tomato sauce, 88 cents. Rice Krispie treats, a 4.72. Macarons, a 6.24. Uncrustables, 9.48. Not bad. You get a few more sandwiches rather than the seven count. The thermometer was 11.94. Bananas were 53 cents a pound. The big lighters were $1.74. The big bag of bird seed was $9.68. The shoes were $12.98 for those sneakers. The Heath bars were $4.34. Fruit by the foot was $7.48. The 53 cents a pound bananas ended up being $1.21. And then there's a cake item. The Little Debbie Bites, $4.12. Bringing it to $105.08. That is the Walmart haul. Later this week, we will have the BJ's part of our grocery haul. We usually do about four to five stores to stay in budget. And when we do go to multiple stores, we try to go to stores that are within five to ten minutes of each other. We bulk shop so we're not spending gas going 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, and 25 minutes there. Let's look at the menu board. My meal planning board, we do a rotation system with same nights, every Wednesday is our Italian night. Sundays we like to do chicken, and then Tuesday we do pork. On Mondays we'll do some type of round two meal, or leftovers, mom's choice on Thursday. Friday we like to do copycat or takeout, like maybe go to McDonald's or make a homemade pizza at home or tacos. And then Saturdays we do a lot of beef, and th that's how we meal plan. And I keep a fully stocked pantry. I have it written down. And I know what I have and what I'm getting low on so I can create my list by being organized. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. If you're interested in a gift card, you need to comment in order to qualify. If you're new, please be kind. You need to be subscribed to United States Residents. The rules are linked down below with our social sites, Facebook, as well as Instagram. And we have a newsletter now. You can email me, contributes1268 at yahoo.com. I'll get you November's newsletter out to you. And when December's is ready, I'll send that one to you as well. Thank you, everybody, for your continued ongoing support. Don't forget to check out the playlist down below. You see the captions, different playlists that I mentioned. So check them out, and thank you in advance. Happy shopping, everybody. Happy holidays. Let us eat. And don't forget to subscribe.